Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and today we are canning up some Italian sausage and bean soup. Yum, just in time for fall and winter season. So pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. Okay, in my large pot I have one pound of sweet Italian. If you like to use spicy Italian, hot Italian, you can totally do that. Whatever you like to use in your soup. I want to break this up. Okay, so I'm just going to cook this for a few minutes to brown it. And then we're going to start adding in our veg. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add in my vegetables. I have two large onions in here, five stalks of celery, and five carrots. And I've just diced them all. I'm just going to cook this meat a little bit more with, start cooking these other vegetables down. While that's going on, I'm going to fill my canner with water. All right, it is mostly cooked. I'm adding in diced tomatoes. You can use your own home canned diced tomatoes. I do the pork beans. These are white beans. You can use traditionally white cannellini beans are used. If you can't find those, because those can be hard to find dry sometimes, you can use any white bean. And I'm adding in water and chicken bouillon. You can use chicken broth. I will not be putting the greens in here because I don't like the greens canned. So when I open this up, I will add in some of my freeze-dried or dehydrated spinach or kale. Or sometimes I like to put in Swiss chard if I have some fresh Swiss chard. That can go in here too. Whatever greens you like, I'm putting in my bouillon. But again, you can just use your chicken stock chicken bone broth, whatever you like, whatever you have. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of onion powder. I'm going to use a couple teaspoons of garlic powder. A tablespoon of dried parsley. If you want to add some Italian herbs to this, you could totally do that. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of black pepper in there and a teaspoon of canning salt. I'll taste it for salt later. I don't want it to be too salty because I have beans in there. Beans will cook unevenly with salt. So that's probably actually all I'll put in there. I just want to bring this to a boil. Then I'm going to turn down the heat, cover it, and let it simmer for 10 minutes. And of course it wouldn't be a normal video without several camera malfunctions for me. It did not film me filling the jars. I filled the jars leaving one inch headspace with the rule of half solid, half liquid. Cleaned the rims, of course, put on my lids and rings, fingertip tight, and added them to my simmering canner. And then I processed these guys for 90 minutes. All right, soup is done. Smells so good. I actually think I want to make a jar of this tomorrow. Hmm. Well, this guy, the lid was all oh, completely off. So this probably won't seal, so we'll probably eat that tomorrow. Those are already sealed. Still moving air, of course. They look delicious, and they smell delicious. Okay, that's all there is to the sausage, the Italian sausage and bean soup. It smells so good. You're going to love this soup. If you enjoyed the video, and I hope you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. 
You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes. This recipe I will put in the description box below for you, as my website is still not letting me add anything new to it, unfortunately. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.